Hello grade 8 students, for today we will be discussing conditional statement. In today's lesson, you should be able to write sentences into if-then statement of a conditional statement. What do we mean by conditional statement? If-then or conditional statement is a statement that is composed of a hypothesis and a conclusion and is denoted by P implies Q where P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. This is read as if P, then Q. The hypothesis is usually the first clause of a conditional statement which follows the word if. When we say hypothesis, it is the condition of the statement. On the other hand, when we say conclusion, it is usually the second clause of the conditional statement which follows the word then. It is the result of the statement. For example, if a number is even, then it is divisible by 2. The hypothesis in this given sentence is, a number is even. This is the first class. The conclusion is, it is divisible by 2. This is the second class on our conditional statement. Another example, if there is a typhoon, then classes are suspended. The hypothesis here is there is a typhoon. And the conclusion, classes are suspended. So that is how to identify the hypothesis and conclusion in our statement. Now, I have here the following hypothesis and you will be the one to give conclusion in the following statements. Pause the video for a while and you may check your answer afterwards. On the first sentence, if the lines are parallel, then they do not intersect. Second, if the angles are congruent, then they have equal measurements. If segment AB bisect angle MAP, then we can see that angle MAB is congruent to angle TAB. If point M is the midpoint of line segment AB, then AM is equal to line segment MB. And lastly, if the measurement of angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. When we are talking about conditional statement, we also have the truth value. This is the property of a statement of being either true or false. In simple words, we are just determining whether the conditional statement that we created is true or a false statement. Let's have this activity. Rewrite the following sentences into if-then or conditional statement and then identify its truth value. A square is a polygon. So we write first the if statement or our hypothesis. So we can write it as, if a figure is square, then it is a polygon. Our hypothesis is a square, then our, hypo our conclusion would be it is a polygon. We know that a square is a polygon, therefore the truth value of this statement is true. Second example. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. To write it in a conditional statement, we begin our sentence by writing the word if. So if the triangle is equilateral, then it has three congruent sides. And we know that equilateral triangle has really three congruent sides, therefore, our conditional statement is true. Third sentence. Supplementary angles are congruent. Our conditional statement would be, if the angles are supplementary, then they are congruent. We know that supplementary angles are sometimes congruent. It is not always congruent. So therefore, the statement that we created is false. Next, collinear points lie on the same line. In our conditional statement, it can be written as, if the points are collinear, then it lies on the same line. We know that in a collinear points, it will be always lie on the same line. Therefore, our statement is true. Next, vertical angles have a common vertex. 
So we can write it as, if the angles are vertical, then they have a common vertex. We know that all vertical angles have a common vertex. Therefore, this statement is true. Now it's your turn. I want you to write an if-then or conditional statement and identify its truth value. Pause the video for a while and I will reveal the answer afterwards. So here are the answers on our first activity. Number one, if the angles are supplementary, then it forms a linear pair. It is true. Second, if an angle is right, then it measures 90 degrees. It is also true. And lastly, if the angles are vertical, then they are congruent. It is also true. Now for our activity, write the conclusion of the following statements. If the triangle has three congruent sides, then block. If the quadrilateral is a square, then block. If the lines are perpendicular, then block. If the polygon has eight sides, then block. And lastly, if the measurement of angle 1 and the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, then block. Pause the video for a while and I will show you the answer afterwards. So here are the possible answers in our previous activity. For number 1, if the triangle has three congruent sides, then it is equilateral. If the quadrilateral is a square, then it has four congruent sides. Third, if the lines are perpendicular, then it forms a right angles. Fourth, if the polygon has eight sides, then it is an octagon. And lastly, if the sum of the measurement of angle 1 and angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, then the angles are supplementary. Do not forget to access your paper accounts for a short assessment. Don't hesitate to ask Sir Alex and Ms. Ria for further questions. Thank you and God bless.